Wednesday's budget committee meeting, the Sewerage and Water Board admitted they're $21 million short to complete construction of a new power station. The city's CAO said they could amend the capital budget to provide the Sewerage and Water Board with $8 million. Sewerage and Water Board leaders said they could temporarily halt two projects for the remainder. So we will have the $13 million available uh, temporarily to allow us to do that. Will those two projects have anything at all to do with any power at Sewage and Water Board? No. They're completely unrelated. I don't want to beat this horse to death, but we've got to get the billing problem solved as quickly as possible and can't just be in an AMI is going to be the cure-all for everything. I agree. The Sewerage and Water Board replied they would be hiring an outsource company to review and solve disputed accounts. As for a possible state takeover, this is what the Sewerage and Water Board had to say. I think that would be terribly distracting, disruptive. At the time where we have momentum, there's a lot of things happening. I don't see the value whatsoever. Council Vice President J.P. Morrell says the council opposes a state takeover, while Councilman Joe Geruso says he agrees with some of the recommendations. I think there's some of them that we've always been proposing. There's some of them that probably need to be tweaked to be in the right place, and there's some of them like the recovery district we just flat out disagree with. Jordan Lippincott, WGNO News.